Polymers are all around us in the form of cellulose and paper, rubber shoe soles, polyester fabric, plastic packaging, and even the keratin that makes up our hair. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, a polymer is any class of natural or synthetic substances composed of very large molecules called macromolecules that are multiples of simpler chemical units called monomers. Monomers are smaller molecules with two or more binding sites, which can form covalent bonds with other monomers. They are the building blocks of polymers. In the first installment of the Polymeric Materials series, we'll discuss the unique properties polymeric materials have because of their long, chain-like molecular structure. Molecular weight is the sum of the atomic masses of all atoms in a molecule. When compared to water, oils, metals, salts, or other materials we commonly interact with, polymers have very high molecular weights. Water has a molecular weight of 18.02 atomic mass units, while polymers can have molecular weights of 20,000 to 200,000 atomic mass units. The molecular weights of polymers are high because the polymer chains are made up of thousands of monomers. Polyethylene is a great example. Ethylene is the monomer that repeats to make up the polyethylene molecule. Ethylene is a gas at room temperature. A chain of 15 ethylene monomers is a molecule of paraffin wax. It is a brittle solid at room temperature which melts at 99 degrees Fahrenheit. A chain of 2,000 or more ethylene monomers is a molecule of polyethylene. It is a ductile solid at room temperature and has a melting temperature of over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. While these three substances are made up of the same monomer, they behave very differently from each other. In this example, as the molecular weight increased, the substance's strength and softening temperature increased because of the stronger intermolecular bonds between the molecules. Since polymer chains are very long and strand-like, they tend to entangle with each other like a bowl of spaghetti noodles. As the molecular weight of a polymer molecule increases, the material exhibits increased tensile strength, elongation at break, impact resistance, fatigue resistance, creep resistance, hardness, abrasion resistance, softening temperature, and chemical resistance due to the increased chain entanglement. The drawback of high molecular weight polymers is that the viscosity, or the material's resistance to flow when molten, increases, which makes it difficult to process them. While the interaction between polymer chains is strong due to entanglement, the intermolecular bonds between polymer chains are much weaker than the covalent bonds that hold each molecule together. This allows the polymer chains to slide past each other. High molecular weight, chain entanglement, and weak intermolecular bonds give polymeric materials a very interesting property, viscoelasticity. Viscoelastic materials exhibit both viscous and elastic characteristics when undergoing deformation. Viscous materials resist shear flow and strain linearly with time as stress is applied, whereas elastic materials will strain when stressed quickly and return to their original state once the stress is removed. Polymer molecules, which are long chains, can temporarily connect or entangle with each other, which causes the elastic properties, and on the other hand, due to their flexibility, they can easily slide past each other, which causes the fluid properties. Viscoelasticity gives polymeric materials the ability to absorb energy, flex, and spring back into shape without breaking. However, if the yield stress of a polymer is exceeded, the material will permanently deform. The behavior of viscoelastic materials is dependent on temperature. As the temperature increases, polymer chains move further apart increasing the free volume between molecules and increasing the kinetic energy of the polymer chains. This allows them to slide past one another and disentangle more easily. Viscoelastic materials behavior is also dependent on strain rate. When the strain rate is fast, polymer chains do not have enough time to rearrange or undergo yielding, so instead they will disentangle. Elevated strain rates result in a ductile to brittle transition, and this is why pulling on silly putty slowly results in plastic deformation, while pulling on it quickly results in the silly putty snapping in half, which is a brittle behavior. Time under load also determines how viscoelastic materials will behave. Over time, when a force is applied to a part, polymer chains can rearrange and disentangle. 
This is why plastic lids that are screwed tightly onto a bottle may crack if left untouched for a long time. In addition to having viscoelastic properties, polymers also exhibit non-Newtonian flow. This means that the viscosity of a molten polymer changes depending on the shear rate. When a molten polymer flows quickly, such as during the injection molding process, the polymer chains align like dry spaghetti noodles in a box. This allows them to slide past each other more easily. For a Newtonian fluid like water, its viscosity is independent of shear rate. For a non-Newtonian fluid, its viscosity will change as the shear rate changes. This property makes thermoplastics injection moldable, so parts like Legos, car bumpers, light switch wall plates, and many others can be mass produced. In this video, we learned that polymer chains are macromolecules that are made up of multiples of simpler chemical units called monomers. Their long, fiber-like shape gives polymeric materials unique properties such as viscoelasticity and non-Newtonian flow. These properties allow us to manufacture plastic parts that would not be possible to make out of metal, wood, glass, or other readily available materials. In the next video, we'll discuss the differences between two categories of polymeric materials, thermosets and thermoplastics. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to let us know and comment below with any questions or topics you'd like to see covered on the channel. Also, remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our new content, and if you have a specific problem you would like to discuss with one of our plastics experts, please reach out. Our contact information is in the description box below. We'll see you in the next video.